corporate sector, that era of motivation is over where you can speak and motivate people with nice presentations because they will listen and they will say, ha, but mujhse nahi ho that's it. It's like if somebody is experiencing fear, everyone sit around that person and say, daro mat, daro mat, daro mat. He'll say, ha, aap right bol rahe ho, but mujhe dar lag raha. What do you do? Kya karenge aap? Even if I can see you, ke you are fearless, you are leading by example, I can see you, you are fearless, to mujhe aur complex aa jata. Inko to dar nahi lag raha, mere ko hi kyun dar lag raha hai? So, the only way now is being that power, being that power and what you are is automatically radiating from you to other people. People will start feeling better in your presence and they won't even come to know. You don't have to ask them, are you feeling better after meeting me? It's a very subtle power. It's a very subtle power. It creates a shift in people. Today, at home, when people are feeling low, they prefer to be alone. Have you felt that? People feel like being alone. They say, leave me alone, leave me alone. We said, Are, why should I leave you alone? Whether it's my spouse or my child or a sibling, anybody. So leave me alone, leave me alone. And they would want to go into their room, close the door. But why should they be alone? I want to be with them. But they don't want to be with us. Why they don't want to be with us? Because they are in pain, so their vibration has just dipped due to whatever reason. But seeing them in pain, what happens to us? Seeing them in pain, we are also in pain. Whether it's worry, whether it's fear, we create pain. So now they are in pain and seeing them, I am also in pain. And so when I go and sit near them, what will happen? When I go and sit, no, you go and sit with them in their room and you say, I want to sit with you, I want to be with you. But I'm in pain and they are already in pain. So what happens when I go and sit with them? My pain adds to their pain and right now they don't have the strength to handle any more pain. So they say, just leave me alone, I will be fine in some time and I will come out. Which means we are not even being able to play the role of a family and friend anymore. Because family and friend means to be there, to support and to empower when in need. And that's why in many families, even if a member is going through a crisis, they don't even tell their spouse. They say, I don't chinta ne de ne inko mujhe. But what if the opposite had to happen, that they are in pain, but you're very stable and powerful then they will want to come and sit with you. And you will say, can I do something for you? Will you want to share what is happening? They'll say, no, I'll manage, I'll solve my problem. I just want to sit with you for five, ten minutes and I will go. They're only coming for what? That strength. Everybody has to solve their own problems. Even if your child is getting bullied in school, he has to solve his own problem over there. You can't go into the school and do anything. But we need to be that source of power. It's like a battery, so battery ko connect kar do, charge ho jaye. Now they'll go and solve their problem. But if they are feeling low and we are also feeling low, then they get depleted and that is what is happening to the children today. So when we focus on our sanskars, our emotional health, the first people who benefit are everybody in our energy circle. And then the circle gets bigger. So it starts with me, then my family, and then of course it radiates to my workplace. So it is one fitness which you can gift to others just by being fit yourself. Physical fitness we can't gift others. We can just keep telling them, I'm going to the gym, why don't you come? I'm doing yoga, why don't you do? I'm going for a walk, why don't you come? But they can only see me getting fitter. Now it's their choice when they do it. But spiritual fitness, which will convert into emotional fitness, which will prevent a mental health issue, is what can radiate from us to everybody. So when we take out three days for ourselves, it is an investment by which you have no idea how many people are going to benefit. And in a very subtle manner, 
it's just in the air so i'm also contributing to raising the vibration of the planet we are even when you sit two minutes in silence and just create this thought i'm a peaceful soul you are radiating vibration of peace into the air it is shifting the vibration of the planet and when i'm sitting for five minutes and saying hey, kya hua? Aise kya hua? how could they do this why did they do this they should not have done this this and i create my stress i am lowering the vibration of the planet i am so don't you think it's a beautiful way to contribute to creating peace in the world? Just take care of ourselves. Not just sit in front of the TV and say, Dunya ko kya ho gaya hai? Dunya ko kaun thik karega? Dunya ko kaun thik karega? Is dunya ko kaun thik karega? Kaun thik karega? Kaun thik karega? Is dunya ko kaun thik karega? Thik matlab? Parivartan, transform. Actually, thik is a wrong word because you don't have to do this world. You don't have to do this world. Transform. Who will do it? Who all are volunteering to transform the world? Uthalo, uthalo, it's going live on television. Yes. आपका फोटो आ गया आपको पता ही नहीं आज चुका इट्स ऑलरेडी देर आपके ऑफिस वालों ने देख लिया आपके घर वालों ने देख लिया इट्स सो सिंपल सेवा भाव इज आर इनेट पर्सनैलिटी वी लाइक वी फील सो हेल्पलेस सींग समबडी इन पेन समबडी गोइंग थ्रू टर्म से व्हाट कैन आई डू फॉर दिस पर्सन बट समटाइम्स इट्स अ सिचुएशन वे यू कैन डू एनी बिकॉज इट्स नॉट इन द डूइंग एवरी इज नॉट इन द डूइंग I can't do anything for that person, but it has to be in the being. So this is one investment where I invest and return goes not just to me, but it goes to multiple, to so many people. And most important, the return goes into the vibration of the planet. Now, if I do a karma which benefits many, then what will be the consequence of that karma? then you get blessings from unknown people you don't even know and blessing means if i have done a karma which has made someone comfortable here then the consequence of that is i will be comfortable so you take a little care of yourself you radiate a higher vibrational energy into the world you get a multifold consequence of that and you start feeling even better than what you were feeling and so building up this spiritual fitness is the easiest thing to do because its ripple effect is multifold. Multifold. So priority is the priority is the not that line where I have to reach as a winner. Priority is priority is here. Can we do this now from today? We have to do it for the next three days so that by Monday. See, one thing you remember, this retreat is not for three days. This retreat is meant to be for... It's not that we come here, feel peaceful and Monday go back and by the time we reach the airport and the station, we'll say, Oh, why is it okay? It's a little bit. That flight is late, it's two hours. How can I be peaceful? It's not that. It is not a meditation retreat for feeling peaceful. It is a retreat for connecting back to your sanskar of peace and then going back into the world where many things around us are not the way we want them to be. Because sanskar means sanskar. It's my nature. Like somebody has a sanskar of helping and they can see somebody is exploiting them. Still they will continue helping. And the other person says, can't you see? Can't you see what they are doing? You are still helping. So what do we say? Kya karo ye to meri? क्या है ये तो मेरी नेचर है आई हेल्प वॉट दे डू विद दैट इज देर संस्कार हेल्पिंग इज माई नेचर वॉट इज आर नेचर प्योरिटी पीसफुल पावरफुल हैप्पी लवफुल वाइज सो आई टी प्रोफेशनल्स वी डोंट गो ऑनलाइन फॉर ऑल आंसर्स वे डू वी गो वी गो इन साइड फॉर आंसर्स so meditation helps us to tap into our intuition 
wisdom wisdom and last blissful blissful so first change first homework from today call only these seven as your nature and never call any uncomfortable habit as a meri nature hai no so meri nature means like this white dress and all those uncomfortable sanskars are the stain on that white dress but they are not the color of my dress they are just a stain so don't call it mine jisko bhi hum mera mera kehte hain wo baith jata hai hamare sath hai na aap kisi ko kaho aap to mere ho aap to mere ho kabhi nahi jayega aapko chhod ke to kisi bhi uncomfortable sanskar ko kabhi mera nahi kehna hai mera kya hai sirf shanti पवित्रता प्यार सुख शक्ति ज्ञान और आनंद एंड दैट इज वाई हमने बचपन से सुना है सतो गुणी आत्मा द सोल इज मेड ऑफ सेवन क्वालिटी सेवन संस्कार एंड इन स्पाइट ऑफ नोइंग दैट वी क्रिएटेड अ वर्ल्ड वे बी सेट स्ट्रेस इज नॉर्मल एंड ऑल अनकंफर्टेबल इमोशंस कॉल्ड एज नॉर्मल सो फ्रॉम टूडे फर्स्ट होमवर्क नेवर कॉल एन अनकंफर्टेबल फीलिंग माई नेचर mine is only seven or all the other colors which come out of the seven so these are the seven primary and then all our qualities our sanskars come out of that whether it's compassion acceptance empathy gratitude letting go forgiveness it will come out of these seven so these seven will be primary and those will be our secondary colors but they will all come out of these seven you cannot be compassionate if you are not loveful you cannot you cannot forgive if you're not powerful so they are all connected so the whole list of qualities is actually this seven so who am i is only this seven so what do we do in meditation is first step pick up only one for the day and anyways all seven are connected if i'm pure i'm peaceful if i'm peaceful i'm loveful if i'm loveful i'm happy they're all connected so the homework is not too big it's only one thing so pick one for the day today evening when you meditate or tomorrow morning and of course there will be someone guiding us with commentary tomorrow morning or in fact it's suraj bhai tomorrow morning very beautifully he will conduct with meditation commentary but when we are back home also take one for the day and then the first step of meditation is i am fill in the blank the sanskar you're taking for the day so if i take the sanskar as i am a pure soul now just create that thought create the visual and just hold on to it that is the first step we saw this morning atma soul means three functions mind intellect sanskar mind will create a thought intellect will see the visual of that thought and sanskar meaning the experience gets recorded mind intellect sanskar so what is meditation to take all three together so for example right now create a thought home home and now see the visual see your house so the mind is creating the thought home and the buddhi the intellect the power of visualization it can see the home see the house very clearly the main door the color open and walk in look at the furniture complete clarity you're exercising your power to visualize people at home it's a friday morning who would be at home at this time what would they be doing see them not think see them go up to them share with them what you have experienced here go into the kitchen see what's cooking for lunch today see it S- 
smell it. Open the fridge. Lots of fresh fruits there. Pick an orange. Close the fridge. Come back to your most comfortable chair. See all this. Peel the orange. Start eating. Close the door and back into the hall. Okay, Ji. how many could see the house? So, clear? So that means we all have visualization power. So first faculty, create a thought, home. Second faculty, intellect, see the house. And third is experience, the sanskar. How many of you could see people, family? Dikha? Kya kar rahe the wo? Breakfast kar rahe the? Achha. Hanji? Hanji? Achha, fry. Oh, yeah, today's holiday. Haan, ah, right. Okay. Hanji? Achha, padosi se baat kar rahe the? Wow. You saw the pigeons also in your balcony. See? Achha, you feed them also regularly. And how many of you had the orange? You had Chiku. Good. Anyone experienced the orange? Haan, wo juice. Aya kisi ko? Kis ko aya ho? Ho gaya na meditation. That is all that is needed. This is meditation. Now the only thing is right now we meditated on the house and on the orange. And Raj Yoga means we meditate on? We meditate on, on I the soul. And then second step, which we will learn tomorrow, to connect to the Supreme Soul. Now I tasted the orange. Now I will experience my purity and peace. And most important, whatever we visualize and whatever we experience gets coded on the soul. And that is what starts becoming my sanskar. So even if you take one quality and do that for like a few days, within a few days you will see that quality becoming real in your life. You will start experiencing, Mera gussa kam ho gaya hai, ko tension kam ho rahi hai, kya kiya maine aisa? Just that. I am a peaceful soul. Hold on to that. Visualize that star and start experiencing peace. It's very simple. Very simple. But results, something which we had not imagined would be possible. We used to say, this sanskar is in my gene, I got it from my family, this is my zodiac sign, I am like this. No, I am not like that. I am only these seven sanskars.